Welcome back to the show, y'all. In this video, this is a subscriber request about this product right here, guys. This is the Duragloss 105 Total Performance Polish. I talked about it a lot before, but uh, they was asked how does it do on a light gold color paint because they had a car that was kind of fadish. They're looking for, they're wondering how good would this product work for the brain to gloss out and take oxidation off. Alright, now I may have did it on this car. I may not. It doesn't matter, you know, because when subscribers ask me stuff, I try to do it for them and let them know that um, stuff is pretty decent. Now, price-wise, I ordered this on Amazon. I think this stuff run about $11 at the time of purchase. Now, y'all know how Amazon prices are. Uh, could be went up since then. It could be went down since then. And the way Joe Biden running up everything, the price could be most likely to be higher now than it was a year or two years ago under the Trump administration. All right? Things were much better and cheaper under the Trump administration. Okay. So let's clear it up. And this is synthetic pomer wax. Formula cleans, polishes, and one step. Clear coat safe, durable to acid and alkalines. All right, guys. I said this is a wet look. This stuff will take off. Um, this is a one step polishing all in one step. So it's gonna it'll clean the paint, take the oxidation off the paint, and add gloss to the paint. Even though this car basically needs a paint job on it, you know, but it's always some things you can do to make it look better. And, and that's all we can ask for, you know, unless you take a couple cans like I do just paint it but if you're just looking for a paint that that you might can bring back like i said on a car you're just getting products like this can really help you believe it or not they really can help you all right so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna smear this in here on this area of the quarter pounder right here this stuff comes out kind of yellow in color so there's always things you can do that make a car look better, even though it might not look perfect. Just like, for example, when I first got this car here, the paint looked even terrible on it when I first got this Honda. But since I polished and buffed on it and cleaned it up, and y'all know how I've been doing with this car, it doesn't look as bad as it did. It looks a hundred times better than it did when I first got it. The paint even looked better than everything, more gloss. I didn't know painting. I just polished it and buffed it out and stuff, you know. And it still it looks better. So that's what you mean when you first get one. Sometimes you could just simply use some products and actually uh, bring it out, you know. And I'm showing you the color of this stuff. It's kind of yellow light, and they have like small micro abrasives in here. That's gonna clean and polish the paint all at the same time. And uh, that's exactly what it looks like. It's kind of like some yellow uh, banana. It looks like banana pudding, to be honest. That's what it reminds me of. So, it's got a really good smell to it. It smells kind of like a sweet smell. So uh, they were asking about this product. So y'all know I always deliver the messages. So just massage it in. And just know once you work this product on whatever. Excuse me. My ball of feel. Once you work this product on whatever paint you're working it on, it's going to take out the scratches, the swirls, the oxidation. Uh, it's going to bring it back because it polishes the paint, so it's going to bring the shine back to it. All right, so let's continue to work in. We'll get the ball out of the way since it want to fall and everything. So here we go. Let's work it in. The ball will want to fall, so we got to get it out of the way. Here we go. Guess I'm shaking the car. What was that? Yeah, it must be shaking the car. Yeah, I actually see the car move. Yeah, that's what it is, guys. I'm shaking the car, actually. That's why that baller feel. I didn't know I was putting that much power on it. But the car is actually shaking. Okay. Y'all saw that baller feel, so yeah. The car is actually moving. That's why it feel. So I want to note, though, if, if, if y'all using a rotary... Uh, DA or something like that Your work time is gonna be much better when you are uh, 
use something like that than just using your hands like I'm doing. I just want to do a quick video though for my subscriber. He asked about this product. Want to buy? He wanted what to do on a faded gold paint. So uh, here we go. Will it bring it back? Will it bring it back? Yep. Yeah. Think it will. As long as you know, ain't nothing 100. percent You know, you just gotta keep buffing on it and buffing on it like I did this car right here until you get it like you want it. So let's go ahead and buff this back off. And even with this, you'll, you'll start to see the gloss come in there. The paint will get much, much slicker. You must clay it first, though. Make sure you clay it first before you start this process. Just clay it real good. Then do this. And you can hit this several times. As you can see, that gold is already coming out. See there? You can see that the gold is coming out. It's much more shinier. It's much more slicker. As you can see here. So you can see that the gold is already coming out. I like to cut it to the side angle so you guys can see exactly what's actually going on here. And, you know, you can start to see the tower in here now. So you can tell that it's coming out, the dual gloss. And like I said, it's going to be much better if you're using like a rotary or a DA. And you can just apply it right to the car sometimes. That's how I do it like that, zigzagging right on the car. And then just work it right in with the applicator. Y'all see how I did that in this. Recommend when you're trying to cut some paint, cut in a circle of motions. I mean, this stuff can be worked by hand. You know, everybody don't have this fancy uh, DAs and all this stuff, uh, rotaries laying around sometime these days. I have one, but I like to do them by hand. So you guys will know. So some of y'all ladies that's watching in who really ain't good at using a machine or something like that, they might can work it by hand. Uh, and still get some of this stuff actually done. Just working in circular motions like this. Even a polisher I help. Like a polisher you get from Walmart. It will actually help as well. If that's all you have. A polisher will help with this product. Put a little bit on a 6 inch polisher. And just polish it in there. It will still help. And that's something a lady probably could really handle. Is a polisher. And I do that in a video too as well. So yeah, and once you work it in there, pretty much you can go ahead on and buff it back off. You know, no big deal. Go ahead on and buff it. I'm using just a Dollar Tree microfiber cloth. I told you guys these works best in my opinion for general purpose stuff like I'm doing here. Works excellent. And like I said, you can see the shine and the gloss coming in there. So all you got to do is you keep doing this as much as you like, you know, until you get it how you want it. Whatever kind of gloss that you want to get on the paint. And you can kind of just go down the side. You can start still see the gloss coming in there and stuff. You can see the tower here that the glass is still starting to come in by the reflection so yeah man it's a good product it's cheap you should be able to get it anywhere between 10 to 12 bucks hope you guys enjoy it don't hold y'all too long it's on a go behind the court the subscriber request i had a lot of them i just got to get to them if you're new to my channel hit that subscribe button man so i can tell y'all about some of the latest and the old school and new school products that I can kick y'all out on, you know, let y'all know about. Till next time, y'all stay tuned, man. Y'all know I'm already bringing y'all the latest news. <laughs> old and new. Cheap or more expensive, it doesn't matter. I'm going to tell you about it. I'm out of here. Peace.